Hi everyone, I just want to quickly share a message of hope with you all. The last few days, I believe that God has been dropping in my spirit the word hope. I know a lot of you are going through tough times right now. Um, you might be going through situations that are, you don't understand and you're just, you know, tired and just asking where is there going to be a change. I know it might be financial, family business, your health, parental, and I've just, you know, it's just been done in my spirit to share with you all that you please, you know, no matter what you're going through, just hang in there and know that God is with you. You know, the God that we serve always is with us, no matter how dire the times or how tough things are. I want you to just hang in there. And I'm just going to be sharing with you some scriptures to back up this message of hope. And the first one is Proverbs 13, 12, which says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. You know, if you don't have hope in life again, you can get to a point where you can, you know, and I pray none of, none of you that is listening to me or anyone listening to me, you will not get to that stage where you want to give up in life or you want to just say okay you know what i can't take it anymore it says when you 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 when you lose hope you lose faith in hope and just think that whatever situation you're going through that's it the bible says it makes the heart sick you know when you start getting to a point that you just want to give up on life it makes the heart sick and it could lead to depression and anxiety but you have to have that hope um the bible says that when the desires that you're looking for comes it is a tree of life meaning when you have hope when you have that confidence and faith it makes you know it gives joy in the heart and another scripture is first corinthians 13 13 it says now abide faith hope and love these three but the greatest of these is love so faith plus hope you can see where it the bible ties faith and hope together so another one is Isaiah 40 31 but those who Wait, meaning hope on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So meaning when you hope, you wait on the Lord. The Bible says it strengthens you. It gives you strength. It says you will mount up on wings of evil, like oh, on wings like eagle. I have been in that situation where you know, some days I just like, okay, God, this is what I'm waiting for. Is there going to be any change? Is there going to be any, a, a new chapter opening up in this? But I've re just been hearing God saying hope. And once I, you know, like the other day I was listening to a song and it just been, it was just hope all throughout. When God wants to speak to you, he can speak to you, you know, sometimes over and over again. You keep hearing the same message. Um, the same old song or they keep hearing the same words and you know and you're like okay god is there are many ways god speak to us he can speak to you through your heart to the still small voice for me i know when he speaks to me through my you know dreams the still small voice um when i lay on the bed when i'm just everything is just still and calm and also he can speak to you through a song i just kept hearing all that day the word hope and hope the songs that was coming on the radio Caleb was just on hope and I was like okay God this is you speaking to me and I was very encouraged that day and I just want to I'm here that I know that you know sometimes you might say you, you a lot of you might be needing just that message from someone I'm just here to encourage you all um that hope you know one thing I learned from Faith Oyedepo she went to a very hard time in her health she was challenged she went to the point of death I wanted to go to the point of death look for her message or her book um that's faith Oyedepo. and one thing she always encourages us that when she was on a sick bed they didn't know if she was gonna live but she said one thing she kept on was her hope she didn't let her hope to um she didn't lose hope so she always encourages people hope i don't know what you're going through some of you are that like okay god when am i gonna get my miracle baby or my husband or whatever you're looking for says hope and the bible says 
those who wait on the Lord, they shall run and they will not be weary. When you start losing faith or you like losing hope, you notice that you become depressed or just downcast. But the Bible says you will walk and you will not faint. Another scripture is Micah 7, 7. It says, therefore, I will look to the Lord and I will wait for the God of my salvation. Our God is a God of salvation. Salvation means deliverance. It means it, it means when God delivers you from something that you know it's has held you bound it says i will wait and i will look up to the lord i will wait on the god of my salvation and he will hear me so the scriptures you know the bible for those of you that have not had a relationship with god the bible is a it's our manual to living on this earth it's god speaking to us out of his love for us so that's why it's very important to pick up the bible and read and meditate on the scriptures just like this scriptures i'm sharing with you today in rome another one is romans 15 13 says may the law may the god of hope fill you with joy god is a god of hope he will fill you with joy peace in believing so when you believe that their peace will come into your heart because it's when you doubt when you start doubting then you start getting anxious and you get depressed and it, it takes away your peace so the bible says that, that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And that's my prayer for you today, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will abound in, in hope, in, 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 you know, you will abound in the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you, you, would, you would not give up. I know some of you are going through financial strain in these last days, but just hope in the Lord and trust in Him to supply all your needs according to, according to His riches in glory through Christ Jesus. And the last scriptures I'm going to sell is First Peter 1, 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope. Hope is living. It's not dead. It's, it's, it's alive. So, you know, it says that through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead. So hope is living. Hope is like, it's, it's, I would say, as I said, it works with faith. And I pray for any one of you going through any kind of strain in your family, your marriage, in, in, in your health, in your finances. You know, you're looking for something from God. A miracle baby, a miracle marriage. In your family, you're looking for a change of story. That I want you to hope. Hold on to God. Trust in Him. Um, encourage yourself. You have to, you know, not give place to the enemy to cause you to be depressed or anxious. Stand on the word of God. When you, one of the things that has really helped me when I'm going through challenges, you know, worship, putting on worship music is very important. Just stay there, put, it, put away distractions and just lay on, if you have to sit down, lay on your bed and just soak yourself in the, in the, in the presence of God. But through worship, you will see a difference or praise, praise, you know, today you have having spent time in praise and just worship it. It's going to be tough, even especially when you don't feel like it, you have to press through. It's like, you know, you got to go against the resistance. Sometimes when you're just, you know, feeling like you don't feel like it, that's when you need to press. That's when you need to go against that. Whatever is not allowed, God just doesn't want you to do that. The flesh will not want you. It will want you to complain. It will want you to mope. It will want you to cry, woe is me, but you have to do that which even though it's tough do it and you will see a difference in your spirit especially worship i'm a very i mean i'm always going to add, uh, encourage you spend time in worship spend time in listening to i mean youtube is a very good resource for even just putting christian um so, soft stuff worship one of the artists that i love listening to is jesus culture Katie and Brian Towald, or sometimes just put instrumental, crystal instrumental music and just, you might not, you know, it might not be physically singing, but just that soothing crystal instrumental hymns, it helps to suit your soul. It brings and ushers the presence of God. It ushers the presence of Jesus. And it's in that time when you're worshiping, after worshiping, and you start you know, you feel, when you sense the presence of God, you just, when you pray, oh my goodness, that is a very, very, it's a therapy. It's, it's you, when you can f put worship songs or you just open your mouth and just lift your hands in worship and just singing out of your, the bosom of your heart. If you have to cry while you're doing it, do it. But once you sense that, okay, you have that peace, that's when you know the presence of Jesus is there with you in that room. You open your heart to him. 
you speak to him. And those are the times that I know that I have, when I've done things like that, been worshiping, it's, it's, and I, I sense the presence of God. Oh, I tell you, it changes the whole atmosphere. It changes your heart, your soul. You are not heavy anymore. The pr worship brings in and ushers in the presence of Jesus, who is peace, who is love. And I encourage you all, and I say, hang in there. May the Lord bless you.